Generally speaking, there are two separate things that a parable does. One, it tells us something about God, or two, it tells us something about ourselves. But sometimes you get a parable that does both. This parable, the parable of the talents, tells us something about God and about ourselves, and most importantly, what it is that God wants from us. And what God wants from us is unexpected. It's not just belief, it's not just good behaviour, it's not just worship. He's really looking for faithfulness. The master says to the servants that he's happy with, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful. Now, this is amazing because it means that if you're a follower of Jesus, it's not just that you believe in God, but God believes in you. He puts his trust in you, his faith in you, and he's wanting you to be worthy of that faith, to be faithful. But what does it mean to be faithful? Well, Here's the next surprise. In God's kingdom, faithful doesn't look like preserving what we've been given. It looks like multiplication. It didn't matter how much the servants were given. That wasn't the point. What mattered was what they did with what they were given. The two faithful servants that multiplied what they had received the exact same reward. The one that just maintained things lived to regret it. You've been trusted by God with great things. Time, money energy, abilities, resources. But the most precious thing that God has trusted you with is people. It's no coincidence that you have the friendship group that you do, the neighbours, the flatmates, the, the work colleagues, your family. And your job as a disciple is to multiply that, to take risks, to make an investment. We're not supposed to keep our faith to ourselves, to bury it in the ground and just try to hold on to it. We're supposed to do all we can to see that faith multiply to others. That's why in Metro we make a big deal about mentoring one another. That's why we do all that we can to help people find Jesus. So ask yourself the question, what has Jesus trusted me with? Where can I invest? Where can I take risks? Who can I pray for? Who can I love? Who can I share faith with? It's a challenge, but God believes in you. We're called to be faithful, not just people of faith. And faithful means doing what you can to grow what you've been given, no matter how small. Let's multiply, not maintain.